Talk about the Nations Cup, what happened on Friday. And everyone was like, how did it happen that Nigeria got the best of what the draws? What do you draws? mean, how did it happen? Yeah, like take a look a at draw. it. It's only just a dream draw. You're like, you can go to sleep and <laughs> oh, walk over everything. score as much as five goals. In the, it's not so easy I because mean, we, this country is actually qualified for this uh, tournament. On Friday, when we had Ben and uh, talks, uh, we talked about how you know, Nigeria should try and, as much as possible to yes. avoid uh, the Group D because usually Nigeria. Never, it's never, it never comes up good at all. Mm -hmm. Very tough yeah. group it turned out to be. Uh, very unfortunate uh, for Morocco. But for Nigeria, Group B, fantastic draw. Nigeria, Guinea, Madagascar, and, and Burundi. Burundi. You could see the smile right now yeah. on the face of Guinea. Oh, thank God. A sigh of relief there. But, Cecilia, they cannot afford to underestimate any of those teams. Everything that has qualified for the AFCON will be coming there uh, not to make up the numbers. That group I just saw there say prayer for Imano Amunike because Algeria Ouch. and Senegal Ouch. in that one Ouch. with them. Say prayer for him. Yeah, but the good thing about this 24 uh, team uh, Nations Cup is you still get qualified if you don't finish first, uh, top yeah. two. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, still gonna have four teams qualifying. Yeah. As what do you make of Group D? Yeah, group that's of the, that's yeah. You talk about cut the boss out of it. It's always. That's, that's Why ridiculous. is Group D always like that? That's the way it is. So when D? It, <laughs> F? Okay, I got it. <laughs> so Nigeria is in the group of life, while it's unfortunate for South, South Africa, Africa, they're in the group of death. As uh, Yaya Toure up in out um, with a draw ceremony uh, for see Cameroon as well. So Cameroon, Ghana, Ghana, Benin, and Guinea-Bissau. Yeah, which is cool for Cameroon and Ghana also. They know they're all obviously going to go through. This is oh, what it looks like after that uh, Friday on. night draw. Egypt, Diary so Congo, sure. Uganda, Zimbabwe. That's another, another lucky country there. Talking about the host. Group C, yes, that's uh, Senegal, mm. Algeria, Kenya, Tanzania. You have Nigeria. Guinea, Madagascar, and Burundi. So these ones get back to the fire. Maybe five goals each from Nigeria. Oh. Morocco, cut the boss, South Africa, and Namibia. Okay, Namibia, you know you're already out. This other oh, three we can you... for everything. I'm just saying this is what it's going to look like. Tunisia, Mali, Mauritania, and Angola. And group, if you have Cameroon, Ghana, Benin, and Guinea. See that, I'm going to say this to you now. You're in. You're going to be in for some uh, I upsets. want surprises. There, there are going to be some upsets. And all those things you're just uh, counting out, uh, some of them are going to surprise you. That's what um, I want. That's where they see. That's the beauty of the game. Now, let's get reactions that are coming from this one. Actually, and, of course, talking about the Afghan draw. I think he's, he's good for the clubs because it's in June. I'm sorry, it's in June, and the player no, the club not going to try to use their player because normally they're on holiday. But as well, it's going to be hard for the players. Or, you know, the player have been playing maybe 60 or 50 match game in, in a row. And as well, we know those kind of players, they have the feeling to try to make their, to make their, their country proud and they have to be committed to the country as well. It's very hard, you know what I mean? As a, for the player, especially, it's very hard. But for the club, it's much easier and it's, they're going to be happy. It's much better for the, you know, for, for the players who are playing in Europe to, to play this tournament in the summer. We suffered a lot when we were playing, when we played it in the mid-season. It was very difficult for us because we had to leave our clubs for three or four weeks uh, in the middle of the season, and it was always difficult for us. So now it's much better for the, play, for the African players uh, to play it in the summer. And the weather is not bad here. It's uh, uh, the cities where the tournament will be played. It's an uh, amazing weather. It will be uh, 30, 31, 32 degrees, good wind. So most of the games will be played at night, I think. So I think it's a, it's a very good timing. All right, uh, that's reaction from uh, Ahmed Mido and also yeah, yeah, we're talking about this summer tournament. They love it. They're enjoying it. They want it to continue because everyone will be on break. They'll have the opportunity to really watch. Oh, oh hang on a minute. I, I see what he's saying. I mean, the fact that there won't be any player club on uh, route and um, it's, gonna, it's break time, basically, summertime, and uh, they can get back to come and play for their country. But exactly. you now I need to remember that the summertime is when these players are supposed to go and let their air down. This is when they're supposed to go and relax oh, and really? prepare for next season. It's okay. going to be strainers on their bodies. How is the European Championship way. played? How is it's the World Cup played? Yeah, it's the same thing. Same what I'm saying time. is, but so they're not they used to the energy they had in going to the World Cup and also to channel it. that. It's, it's, to it's going to be a first simple. time for them. Just imagine you're having Sadio Mane and Mo Salah missing for Liverpool no. in January, February. What could have happened this season? Yeah, no, not good at all so, for the clubs that pay their salaries. I'm loving this summer game. Yeah, I love it as well. <laughs> so, I'm just, you know, saying something on the side okay. uh, of the players. All right, then, let's take more reactions now. Absolutely. Uh, coming from the draw, Nigeria's, uh, Nigeria, obviously... 
Getting our role is very confident Nigeria could, uh, can come out of that group. Um, not so much for the Namibia coach. Let's listen to them. We don't have ambitions to want to win the cup. <laughs> we, not, we, we, we don't have that uh, ambitions. Uh, for us, is here, we, we, need to, we need to upset uh, one of those three teams. Uh, we, we're going to play a very, very strong role in deciding who's going to go through to the next round. Uh, I think that we have our chances to come out of this group, and then we will see. Uh, each team is difficult, you know. It's a long season now. Uh, they will finish in May. They have to recover, and we have to make a good preparation. I think we will come also to Egypt to prepare for the 10 last days before the competition. We will come here and do another friendly before we start our competition. There you go, Super Eagles coach and Gennot Ro, uh, quietly confident that Nigeria will come out of Group B. And we're also talking about preparations as well to at least two friendlies and before uh, the tournament kicks off uh, in Egypt. Olawale Ishola, sports analyst, uh, joins us now uh, to review the events of Friday as well as and talk about the Nigerian Professional Football League as well. Olawale, it's great uh, to have you on the show. Morning, Tyler. Morning, Cecilia. Yeah, you, you, have you yeah. managed to make it down. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, okay. then. Before we uh, continue with okay. what went down, uh, at the AFCON, uh, let's do, um, yeah, let's just get your reaction quickly. Uh, you've seen the AFCON and everything, uh, your take. Uh, okay. The um, draw. The draw, everybody has been saying that uh, we are in an easy group compared to the teams that, that we, have, we have been pitted against, mm. uh, Burundi, Namibia, and then, so to me, we will qualify. That one is set. No problem, okay. That one is set, but uh, we shouldn't take it as easy as we saw it. We should mm -hmm. not be complacent. Mm. Modern football now is not played by names. It's what you can do on the pitch. You have to go there in Egypt and do justice to the to to, uh, to by, the by beating games. our teams. Right. Now the the groups that have been that have really caught people's attention, that have really caught people's attention is Group D. Mm. Is Group D that comprises of three former African champions: Cote d'Ivoire, Morocco, South, South Africa. Africa. Wow. You understand? Now when you have the kind of a group, we normally target a group of that. Now, when you say group of vets, who will survive? Because you don't know. Mm. Every match in that, comp in that group is very, very important. And it won't be easy for any of the teams in that group. While group E2, that comprises of Cameroon and Ghana, uh, I don't know the, the two other teams in that group. That's group F. No, group, group, group F. Group F. Cameroon, Ghana, Cameroon, Ghana, Ghana Benin, Benin, and, and Guinea-Bissau. Guinea well, one time you have Ghana, Cameroon playing, yeah. They, are, they are the top teams in Africa. In between them, they have won nine African Cup of Nations. Mm. So you expect it's very, very keenly contested match between Ghana and Cameroon. Mm. But, nevertheless, no, but nevertheless, we should look at all the groups because the Egyptians are there again. They've hosted the competition three times, and they won it three times. They never failed at to win it. Yes, mm -hmm. mm. The last time they, won, they, they hosted it was 2006. Before that time, it was 1986, they hosted it. The Cameroonians were beaten by penalties in 1986. In 2006, the Côte d'Ivoire were beaten by penalties. So you should watch out for the, for the Egyptians too. So to me, uh, I can't wait for AFCON to start. Mm. After the Women's World Cup, AFCON should start. Mm. Because we're going to have, Cecilia Tell, we're going to have a great summer mm. of football. Wow. We will have I to enjoy wait. ourselves. I can't wait to enjoy that I, I now. can't wait to okay. Cecilia. I can't yeah. wait to. Uh, no breaks for us. At all, like no breaks. It. All right, let's talk about Nigeria Professional Football League. The games that went down at the weekend started from the one on Saturday where insurance just couldn't win at home. It ended goalless right there in Benin against Real Stars. Everyone wanted a goal, uh, something from them, but they couldn't do that. If you can get results coming from match day uh, 15 of Nigerian Professional Football League, starting from Group A, the mm. results. Insurance and Remo Stars ended goalless. Niger Tornadoes and Wiki Torres, Katsina and Rivers United, Katsina winning 2 1. Aimba beating Quara 2 0. And of course, Rangers continue their rampant, ranging attitude, going away from home mm. and beating everybody 2 1. Huh. It ended in their own favor. And wow. MFM taking a cue from what happened on Saturday. On Sunday, they couldn't beat Lobby Stars. It was goalless on Sunday for MFM and Lobby Stars. Now the game, Group B, Group B was it looking like right now? Abia Warriors and Yobi Desert Stars. Abia Warriors winning, if I remember, also the winning note. Economy Warriors winning. Uh, Hatland and all home, wins. Three, all home wins. Yeah. And Akko United thrashed Canopilas. Yeah. I thought this would be more competitive, yeah. but then Canopilas just came to Uyo and 
Wednesday, we're taught football lesson by Aqua United just want to hold us strong to the top position in that uh, group B. That's what it's looking like. This is the result for the weekend. Let's take a look at what the group is looking like right now. The table, starting from A, where you Rangers. have Rangers, Rangers, and just beating everybody. Else Three earlier. games. That's Three it. Games. Yes. yes. Check the goal difference line. Yes. I checked the point 27. And who is next? MFM are actually uh, going to maybe where they belong or something like that. But no, I don't, don't understand. Don't like but that. then after silly. those draws back to back and everything, <laughs> they drop in down to 24 after They're 18. still in playoff contention. Yes, That's all that matters. Yes, Absolutely. Yes, yeah. they are. Then, just take a look at the insurance, what that goal less job meant oh, for them. Oh. Had to go down. I mean, again. that zone. They could have been up if they had won on 20, close to Sunshine. But right now, they are back. Cecilia so. Tell. Uh, the major talking point over the weekend is yeah. Rangers going to oh Agure to win that East, game. East, West, North, Being South, Being Somali is sunshine coach. Yeah, of course. At the height of sunshine, it almost took them winning the, the league titles until Dolphin nicked it at the, at, at the, at, yeah. at the death. While in the, if, in the Cup Champions League, it took them to the semifinals. Mm. So now going back home to its former club, winning, to me, it's amazing. I was surprised. When I saw the result, I couldn't, be, I couldn't believe it. I was it. surprised by it because they've been uh, away from Sire home. Cecilia, yeah. Yeah. all of a sudden, Rangers... They are topping the group. All of a sudden, yeah. top, after all twelve sudden, matches, you know, all you know, you know, all you know, of a sudden, I mean, they've been like said, two, two weeks said, now. The reason I said that was that yeah. you know, for a long time they were not, they were not, they were not playing because of the of the continental assignment. Mm, right. But we once said it that the the point difference between the teams that have been playing and the teams that have not been playing, no. that margin is too. The gap is not much. No, a lot. That it was easy for them to close, and surprisingly, they've closed they've it with twelve matches. This is after the outstanding matches. Yeah, incredible. It shows that Eimba, MFM, they've not done enough. Uh, you understand? Now, Lobisters still have won outstanding matches. See where they are. Okay. So, to me, MFM and Eimba, they have to buckle up. Because the last two draws that uh, uh, for MFM have really dented the ambition yeah, of, 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 of playing at the playoff. Mm. Tell, let's be sincere, they, keep, uh, they must put everything on the deck mm -hmm. to win all their remaining home matches. Mm. They still have seven, home, seven matches to play. Uh, maybe I don't know the number of home matches that they have to play, okay. like three or four matches to play, but they must win their own matches. Well, okay. the other side, yeah, Aqua United, Group B, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not surprised what is happening in Aqua, yes. Aqua United and El Camemi, El Camemi Warriors, but the major surprise are Plato United. What's really wrong with Plato United? Oh my goodness. You understand? <laughs> this was a team that won the league just two seasons ago. See where they are. Players are gone, the coaches are gone, yeah. players and new so coaches it, it, coming it, it, in. It, it happened. Yes, Cecilia, mm -hmm. you're right. That is the, the, the consequence. Of inst instability yeah. that's affected Plato United. Oh, it's not good for, 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 for the league. Mm. If you won the league, it should, no matter how big it can be, you should be at least mm. in the middle position of fighting mm. yeah. to be at the top, not be fighting deep. relegation. Okay. You understand? It's an indictment on, on, on the management of, Plato, management United. of Plato United. Let's go quickly to the papers now. Let's see what they're saying. And uh, surprise, surprise, ah, Sports and Live has got the center page. It's all about Tiger Woods uh, <laughs> completing uh, that remarkable comeback. When was the last time you saw a golf story <laughs> on any of the papers? But that's In the Nigeria. That's the, pool, uh, that's the pool of Tiger Woods uh, for you. And that's remarkable, remarkable it, it is. Uh, story. Salah Sa Stunner uh, managed that to shoot reds to the top. Uh, just talked about that already. What for versus Arsenal tonight? Uh, Mesut Ozil is a great player. That's Alex will be uh, talking about uh, his teammate. Eagles door open for new goalkeepers, as according to Alloy Agu, while Nigeria and Tanzania Golden Eagles win nine goal three la. Let's go to the next paper now. Okay, and it's complete sport here. Here you have a red hot Chico is a hit goal number five in La Liga. Igalo also scoring five goals in five games. Balogun missing for EPL game. He didn't play and they were really whitewashed. That was a beating up a bit down they got mm. on Saturday. You have Ahmed Musa extending the goal draw to 11. He's not scoring. Oh. Yekuru fires oh, were 12 goal in uh, Super Liga. That's in Turkey. Why others are scoring, Ahmed Musa, a player of the year, yeah, not is not scoring. Not no, a good one Not for with him. the nation's call around the country. Yeah. Mm. Okay, the last one is Sporting Sonia. So far he goes to camp in Egypt. That's Gennett Raw confirms that will be playing Ghana friendly before it, which is going to be a good one. And the wife is spying on Madagascar. You don't need it. We're going to beat Madagascar. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, football is not playing on paper. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Madagascar. Madagascar should be a team that we should if just we, it, hey, we should, we should beat. But I, I, you know, football. 
You know, get him so carried away, right? You know, remember uh, <laughs> AFCON in 2000? Fungo came to Lagos. They took the draw. That's part of our race of tests. Mm. Okay. So we have to go to the pitch and do justice Still. to the game. But if right. we don't pick maximum points in that group, it's failure, right? No, it is. It is. Thank you. You have no excuse. You have Thank to pick you so much for coming to the program. You're welcome, Cecilia. <laughs> Thank Sarah, you. It's so nice to be there in the studio once again. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Cecilia. I'm Mohamed. I'm Tyus Salon. Enjoy the rest of your day.